Hi there, I'm an Ultimate Iron Man. Sort of. I've divided the RuneScape map into 18 regions, all with their own custom-built task system. These tasks provide rewards to me, such as XP and supplies. Every week, I will randomly select one of these regions and I'll be locked to it for 9 hours. Once up, my inventory and ward equipment will be wiped. My bank will be operating on a store-only basis, which means I can never take items out of it. I have compiled a list of RuneScape bosses and the goal of this series is to kill all of them at least once. With every boss killed for the first time, I'm awarded either the choice of an additional region every week or the ability to carry over one inventory slot every single week. Lastly, all of this content will be streamed live at twitch.tv forward slash MrFrogRS, so be sure to join in. If you need any more information, make sure you check out the description, or just leave a comment. Without further ado, I bring you... Regional Rumble! <laughs> Alright, we are here. It is time to pick the next region. Spin that wheel. Mm. It's not good. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <sighs> Let's get to it. Hello and welcome back to Regional Rumble, the series where I randomly generate myself a region and throw myself into it for the entertainment of the viewers. This week is definitely going to be a struggle. We're in Mauritania, um, fairly low level, no carryovers, nothing really to use, and the worst part is I can't even do all the easy tasks. Um, one of the easy tasks is to get a Slayer task from Majkna. Um I can't get it because I have already got a Calphite Slayer task. Which means I can't even move on to the mediums. So, you know, if it could get worse, it did. Anyway, in terms of content here, I'm fairly limited. I've got low Slayer. I don't really have much combat stats. I can't do quests. The main reason I can't do quests is because pretty much everything I could do here requires a Ghost Week amulet, and I don't have that on me. I'd have to go back to Lumbridge and get it, um, and then carry it over to here. It's a bit brutal, but this is part of how the series works. Um, you will get brutal regions like this occasionally. I've not entirely decided on what I'm going to try and do. I uh, might head my way down to Slap or something and see if I can do something there. Um, really unsure right now. Probably just going to wing it and see how it goes. We'll probably get the other two easy tasks done. Um, just get them knocked out. Because at least then I can have something from it. But, I guess, with all that said, let's put the timer on. And we'll get started. So there we go, timer is on. Let's get moving. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head back over to the uh, the South Temple, or whatever it's called. Um, I'm allowed to go into this as long as I don't go out the other side. The way the rules basically work is I can access a dungeon if it is within my region. Um, technically this one's within Varrock region and Mauritania. But I'm just going to come in here because I'm just going to grab myself the Wolfbane Dagger. Um, so we've actually got ourselves a weapon. Like I said, I can't really go any further through there. There's nothing useful there. But we do have a weapon now. Um, and a lot of the stuff that I'm going to be doing in this episode is mostly combat training melee. I think this is the best opportunity for me to do it, even though it's not a great one. I don't have any other better opportunities, so I may as well utilize this uh, this moment that I have right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and make ourselves some money. I don't really know how I'm going to do that. I may go down to Slep and sell the Papyrus. Uh, you guys know where I got this idea from. Um, because if I can get some money, then I can collect some pots and buckets, and I can train prayer at the Ecto Functus, while also training melee stats, uh, which would be quite helpful. Plus, training prayer at the Ecto Functus is a task, so we'll knock that out as well. And if I can manage to get 20 attack, that unlocks Mithril weaponry, um, which could be handy. 
Uh, future regions, Mithril is quite easy to get. A lot of the time it's like the highest tier you can get from shops, so could be a good item uh, to unlock. But yeah, I, I think for now, I'm going to head down to Slep. We're going to try and get ourselves some money so we can trade some prayer. And uh, we'll get this episode rolling. Alright, sweet. That's going to be the Papyrus. We'll grab this. I'm going to have to hop around so I can get a full invent of this because I need as much money as I can get right now. So we can buy the pots and buckets. I don't think this sells for anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill up my invent with Papyrus. And then we are probably going to head back. Alright, that's an inventory of Papyrus done. I don't know how much this is going to get me, but hopefully it's enough to do what I want to do. Um, we... Oh, is there a general store down here? No. Okay, so we're going to have to head back up to Canifus and hopefully not die on the way. Um, but we do have an invent of Papyrus to sell. It should be enough to get the coins for the buckets and pots, I hope. I really don't want to walk down here again. There's so much hostile, like, NPCs down here. That I'm slowly dying, and then because I was hopping frequently, my health didn't even regenerate, so we are down 10 HP currently. Let's try and navigate my way past these absolute idiots. Alright, shopkeeper, how much are you going to scam me for these papyrus? Just give me something, please. They are one coin each. Oh gosh. Well, as long as I'm always getting one coin, I won't hop. It'll give me 28 coins, it might be enough, I don't know how much... These are four and two. Oh, okay. Well, it's a starting point at least. It's not. It's not the best position to be in, but I guess I can get twenty-eight coins at least. All right, twenty-eight coins. We rich. Uh, yeah, we're not buying that. Does this go up? No. Okay, we're gonna be really careful on how much we spend. Probably seems a bit weird that I'm like balancing one GP, but. It's very important to make the most of this money. So we're going to try and get as many equal amounts of pots and buckets as we can so we can train at the Ecto Functus. Um, I don't know how long this takes to restock, so I might have to hop worlds. But I can't really get that many more anyway. In fact, I can only get one more because I think these are four coins each, right? Yeah, so it's going to be six coins for a, a pair of them. Wait. I need to buy... Oh, I can only buy one bucket. Interesting. Because I've got four pots. So we're just going to buy the extra bucket. And then uh, we'll have four of each. This is kind of painful. But it is a start at least. Alright chickens. It is time to die. Uh, I've got the attack options right click for some reason. We are going to brutally murder these chickens. Collect up some bones. I guess this is how we train combat. Thankfully the wolfbane dagger is almost equivalent to a mithril dagger. So that's a... Uh, a decent weapon, to say the least. I could cook the chicken, but I don't really feel like there's any point when I have 51 cooking. Um, for some reason I picked up the feathers, I don't know why I did that. It might come in handy, who knows. First inventory done! This is going to be a weird method of doing this. Um, but we are going to crush these up, get ourselves some slime, and then we can use it on the Ectofunctus. Uh, I don't know how it works with claiming the tokens, because I don't have a Ghost Speak Amulet. But... Oh, that's the wrong button. I didn't want me to click that. But I will get the task complete by using them. Um, assuming the game lets me. I'm pretty sure it does. We'll just have to see. Alright, this is going to be painfully slow. But we can go ahead and use our bones and slime. On the Octofunctus. It's an easy task in the Mauritania area. And it is an easy task for the series. Alright. For this uh, reward... We essentially have three options, but I don't think I'm going to go for the uh, the other two. But I'll list them out anyway. Our three options for rewards are the XP roll, the hard leather body, or a sapphire amulet. Now, these aren't really useful given my current circumstances. Um, so I'm probably going to go with the XP. I should probably have reconsidered what rewards I put on this. But hey, it is what it is. We're going to go ahead and spin the wheel. Mm, cooking's kind of annoying, just because, I mean, I already have 51 cooking. It is like my highest buyable skill. Oh, it is my highest buyable skill. So the 5,000 XP does absolutely nothing. It doesn't even get me a level. But, 
I don't know. I may take the hard level body. Because I think I need two defense levels for hard level. And it would give me some sort of armor. Um, I don't know where it is on here. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, it is there. Yeah, sorry. I read it wrong. Yeah, I need two defense levels and then we go with a hard level body. Could have some decent defense. I feel like the cooking XP is really useless. Anything else I'd have been happy with. But this doesn't even get me a level. So I actually think hard level body is better here, you know? Anyway, democracy. Okay, scratch that. I read the wrong rewards. I'm stupid. Um, this was the rewards for another task, and I just read the wrong ones. The rewards for this are actually uh, XP, 1,000 coins, or two attack and strength potions. Which does change a lot, because I think the 1,000 coins might be the best option here. Because it's going to help me so much with the prayer training. Uh, the attack and strength potions could help, but I just feel like getting coins here is so much harder. So I may look into that, but I am going to check with the chat with the correct rewards this time. The XP roll stays the same because, well, it's just an XP roll. So it's 5,000 cooking XP, 1,000 coins, or an, two attack and strike potions. Okay, so democracy has spoken, and as you can see in the inventory, we have obtained 1,000 coins, and that's what we're going to take from this reward. Cooking XP is just not useful. Like I said, it doesn't even get me a level at this point, which is why I want to go for the other rewards. I mean, people were saying before that the rewards seem to be a bit unbalanced and that XP is a no-brainer every time, but you can see as my skills get higher, XP, like 5,000 XP becomes less and less useful, and suddenly stuff like 1,000 coins can be more useful in situations, which is why I have the other options. The XP was the primary reward. Originally, I was just going to have XP, but then I wanted to have some variation. But yeah, we got ourselves a thousand coins, which means I can actually just go and collect more buckets and pots. So we're going to do that. Um, probably going to go like nine buckets, nine pots, and then we'll have nine for bones. Uh, I should probably grind these actually before we do. As you can see in the chat, um, I did have this transferred over from Luke. So thank you for that. It wouldn't have mattered anyway. I'd have just transferred it over from another account. Either way, it's still only 1k on the account. Again, this is being streamed, so who cares? Right, um, we're going to grind these in so that I've got a little bit more space. I think I'm still going to have 10, though, so that's a little bit annoying. I'm going to sort out this inventory. We're going to get ourselves all the buckets and pots ready, and then we'll go back to murdering chickens. Okay, so... I've been training at the Etofunctus, and I've come to this realization that it's actually really slow. Um, because I have to go grind the bones and I go all the way down to get the slime and I'm getting marginally more XP uh, 18 XP instead of 4.5. It's four times the XP um, But the amount of time it takes I don't feel is worth it. So what I'm actually gonna do instead is simply bury the bones and Just kill chickens normally because it's gonna give me more combat XP Which is kind of what I want more than the prior XP. I think I need the combat XP way more so yeah, we're just going to basically abandon the idea of doing the Exofunctus, which I suppose in hindsight is probably, I wouldn't say a waste of time, because we did get the easy task done, and we wouldn't be able to do it without using the Exofunctus, so we did get that done, but I think moving on from here is definitely more efficient just to bury the bones and just train on chickens. Ooh, 29 prayer. I don't think that gives me anything, but I just spam clicked for it. It does not. Does it even give me a combat level? No, that gave me absolutely nothing. So we actually moved over to cows just because, well, I wanted to see how they'd go. Uh, it's just better combat XP. Less prayer XP, but, you know, prayer really isn't a big deal right now. I really want to get my melee stats up, even though this is like the most terrible way to do it. We are 10 attack as well. Doesn't help at all, um, but we would be able to equip black weaponry if we had it. I really want to go for 20 before trying to do the farming task, because um, that will unlock mithril weaponry. I don't know if I'm actually going to take a uh, mithril re weaponry reward, because there is one for that task. But I think having the 20 attack is a good option, just in case. Uh, that is a helmet. Thank you for turning up at the... I mean, an emerald. Ah, could be good for some money. I can get a chisel, I can cut it, and then I can sell it off. Anyway, um, yeah, so I kind of want to go for 20 attack before I go for the next task. It'll also help anyway, because I will have to kill some hobgoblins. Don't know how well that's going to go. Honestly, I might end up flinching them. Alright, that's going to be 20 attack. Um, thank you, Chicken, for interrupting the dialogue. So, with these stats, 
Um, probably suboptimal, I've got to be honest. I don't think it's going to be a very good setup for this, but I want to try and get the onion seeds. Now, to do this, I'm going to need to kill hobgoblins. I think it's like a 1 in 25 drop, but they'll give me 4 seeds at a time, which is enough to grow a patch. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and accumulate some food, because I believe I can just buy raw food from Rufus in Canopus, and then I could cook it. See, as we've got some money here, we may as well do that. Um, I can also cut this, I think, and then sell it off to the general store for a little bit more money. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to head down to where the hobgoblins are, and I'm going to try and flinch them, I think. I'm going to try and figure out a way to do this. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm sort of just winging this as I go along, which I've been doing for most of uh, most of this episode. In fact, most of this series, to be honest, is a lot of just winging it. But we're going to go ahead and we'll see what Rufus has. Uh, is it this one? I believe it's this shop, right? Rufus, okay. What do you have for sale? I know he at least has the shark, but that's useless. Okay, we've got some trout, pike, salmon. How much do these cost? 13 not bad. I mean, I'll probably just go with the trout, to be honest. We can stock up on trout, and then I can cook it. I'm pretty sure there's a range here somewhere. There is not a range here. Where do I cook this? Okay, so it seems like the closest range is in Slep. This is quite a distance of a walk. So what I'm going to do is we're going to head over here, and I'm pretty sure they actually sell chisels in this shop. I'm hoping they do. They do, okay. So if we look here, this will buy for five coins uncut. But if I cut it, it should give me at least somewhat more. 50 coins, it's still pretty terrible. But, you know, it's 50 coins I didn't have before. Um, we'll drop that. And then I'm basically just going to drop the buckets and pots. I don't think I can get anything for them. Zero, zero. Okay, yeah. We're just going to drop these for inventory space. We no longer need them. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up my inventory with raw trout. Then we are going to make our way to Slep, so we can cook them all. And then we're going to have to come all the way back to go to the Hobgoblins. This is going to be majorly inconvenient. But I don't really have a solution to uh, to do this without doing this. Um, I've probably missed something, and I'm probably going to get a comment saying you could have done this. Just like I did with Varrock. Uh, apparently you can just buy a chef's hat in the east side of Varrock, and I didn't realise this. So I kind of look stupid for that one. But I learn as I go. If there is something I've missed here, I'm so sorry. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to buy trout. I'm going to hop worlds. I don't know how much that price goes up by. Probably not that much. Oh, it goes up by one. That's fine. Right, so we're just going to hop worlds. We're going to fill up our inventory of raw trout. And then we're going to head down to slep. All right, that's an inventory done of trout. Uh, I noticed this ghost. You can't examine it. It's weird. I don't know what that is. If you have any idea, please let me know. Um, we are now going to try and make our way to slep. I'm actually going to save my energy. Because I'm going to need that to run past all of the lethal stuff on the way. Because naturally I'm not going to have food because that's what I'm going there for. And of course I have 666 in coins. Nice. That has a range. We can finally cook the food. We found a range. It only took crossing the entirety of Mauritania to find one. But there we go. I don't know if I can burn these. I think I can. So I'm just hoping I don't burn too many. And we can have ourselves a nice inventory of trout. Look at that, perfect inventory, none of them burnt. Let's make our way back to Cannabis. Alright, I'm really hoping this works. Um, I know I can access it, but I'm just not sure if I can access it from here without doing the quest. Can I even get to it? I guess so, I just walked through this stuff. Does it work? The trapdoor is locked. Which means I've got to go this way around. Actually, I'm not even sure if I can get in without the quest. I think I might need to start the quest. I mean, it's not a big deal to have to start the quest, but... I could have sworn that I can get down there without it. Either way, we're going to go ahead and start the In Search of the Myrick, or Miraki, or Marek, whatever you want to call them. Um, because it should allow me to go down there. I don't know if I need the Steel Weaponry before, because if I do, then I'm screwed. Um, we'll just have to see how this goes. You do not meet all the requirements to start the in search of the mirror. Oh my god. What are the requirements? I didn't realize I had any. Oh, quest. 
Right. And we can't do that because we don't have the Ghost Week amulet. Hmm. I'm going to look into this. I'm fairly sure there's another way to get down there. But I'm going to do some research and I will be right back. Well, according to the wiki, I don't need any quest to actually get into it. I don't know how this is going to work though because I'm sure there's a guy that guards it. But we're going to be heading down to this entrance here. Um, I'm pretty sure I can access it from this side. I always get lost in the swamp and I'm hopefully not going to lose too much food. But I always thought there was a guy here who stops you from going in, but apparently not. Oh, there's a ghast. Okay, so I, I can't get How do I do this? What? How do I get in? So we can go through here, go around. Wait, can I just walk down from here? If I can walk through here, which I don't think I can, but if I could. Oh, wait, no. Okay. I'm so confused. All right, let me check this again. It's so hard to see on the map. So I think I can go through here, go around here, past this. But then that's blocked. So how do I get here? Go down, can I get through here? Maybe? But then I, I can't cross this because I have to fix it. So that's wrong. There's no way that's right. Which suggests to me the only way to get here is from this side. But I can't... I'm pretty sure that's blocked. I don't even think this is going to work. Okay, so it turns out... Um, I can't actually access the Hobgoblins. Now, this completely screws over with the original plans of the account because I was led to believe I could get into the hollows. Uh, the wiki is very misleading. It basically says that you can, but you can't. You can just get to that portion of the swamp. Um, regardless, uh, I guess that's another easy task we can't do. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go to Crawling Hands and accidentally kill a bat, apparently. I tried to click on the door. We're going to go kill Crawling Hands to train on. And the reason I want to do this is because I think there'll be better XP than killing cows and stuff. And also, they can occasionally drop, like, sapphire rings and stuff, which I can sell to the shop for some money, which I can then use to buy food, even though it does mean I'm going to have to go down to slep. I don't know exactly how I want to do this, but I want to vary it up a little bit. I don't want to just be killing cows and chickens the entire time. So, we are just going to kill Crawling Hands, I guess, for a while. I'm going to do some analysis on what we can really do about the onion seed situation, but I don't think there's much of a solution. I think we might just be screwed with that one. So we're going to try and use this opportunity to train as much meal as we can. I have switched over to strength. Uh, we got 20 attacks, so we're going to be training strength now. Just going to get as much combat XP as I possibly can. There may be a dispute about whether this counts as leaving the area. I have never considered randoms to count, but this will take me out of Mauritania. Where is it going to put us? You know, okay. But, all I'm doing this for is the reward of the random. And to have stuff thrown at me, apparently. It does not count as leaving the area. Don't mean me. We uh, unlocked a new music track. Magic... Wait, what? I didn't know you got... Oh, music track. Sorry, I thought it said emo. I got 80 coins. I, I saw magic dance and I thought I got an emote. I was so confused. I don't know why it came up like that. But anyway, yeah. 80 coins. Eh, worth it, I guess. Okay, so I really wanted to get 20 strength before leaving here. Um, but unfortunately, I'm nearly dead. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to head over and start the nature spirit quest. And the reason I want to do this is because I'm pretty sure Drezzle gives you like some pies and some random food that nobody ever eats except me, apparently. But it could be really handy for restoring my health. Uh, I was going to save it for later on when I needed food. But honestly don't think it's that desperate. I think later on I'll have better methods of getting food anyway. So we should be able to go over and talk to him. And uh, take on this quest. I can't actually do the quest because I don't have the ghost speak amulet. But I should be able to start it. And he should give me some food. There we go. And we got food which he wants to give to his friend. Except I'm going to eat it. I mean, his friend's a ghost anyway. He can't eat it. All right, that's going to be 20 strength. Uh, we still have no com more combat levels. I think I'm still range-based with the 52 range. Going to finish off this kill. I think I can hit fours now. I think I just hit one there. 
Um, oh, I will take that emerald ring. That's really nice. What we're going to do is we're going to go and sell off all of this stuff in Canifis, which should give us a nice amount of coins. Uh, we're going to grab some more raw trout. And then I think what I'm actually going to do is try and head down to the Haunted Mine. And we're going to start this quest just so I can go in the Haunted Mine because there are some skeletons in there, some skeleton miners. And I want to try and kill them. They're level 42 and they're probably going to destroy me. But I'm thinking if I can like catch them on a wall or something, I can maybe flinch them to death. I just want a little bit of variety. I don't really want to be killing Crawling Hands for the next 5 hours and 43 minutes. That's going to be boring. So yeah, we're going to investigate the Haunted Mine and see how well we can do with that. One bright side is that the skeletons also drop an iron axe, which would allow me to chop my own logs and actually make my own fire up here. So if I didn't want to carry on with Crawling Hands, it's a lot easier to get food. So let's stock up on some trout. Uh, I still need to go sell this other stuff actually, which I'm going to quickly do now. And I'll see you guys when I'm prepped. Side note, I just came to the realization that there's actually a tannery right here, uh, which means I can make some basic range armor. I mean, it's more than nothing, right? Because there's cows over here. I can kill some cows, get some leather. We'll come back here, tan it, and then we'll make ourselves just some armor to wear, which might be maybe a little bit more tanky. Honestly, I'm just going to be wearing like rags, to be honest, but I'd still rather have that than absolutely nothing. I will be selling these other two gloves when the other stock's updated um, because I had two of these. I had duplicates. So, yeah, I'm going to go grab some leather and we'll make some armor as well. Nice, that's going to be 10 defense, which allows me to wear the hard leather body, which I'm going to be making out of one of these pieces of cowhide, along with the rest of the armor that we're going to make. And we're just going to grab these bones and then head over to Canifis right now, and we can craft up ourselves some armor. All right, we now have access to the abandoned mine. There should be some uh, miners, some skeleton miners, or just skeleton. I don't really know what I'm looking for in here. Um... I don't really know. I, I, it said there were skeletons in here that dropped some cool stuff, and I'm trying not to get absolutely destroyed by things due to my level. Um, we're going to have a browse around and see what we can find. Okay, we finally lost aggression. Um, I may accidentally re-enable it again. I hope not. But we're going to try and flinch this skeleton over here. Um, his drop table is incredibly peculiar. It honestly looks like they've just randomized a bunch of items and stuck them on a drop table. Should be able to get him stuck if I do this and then this. Should get stuck right there. Okay, so we can essentially just flinch this kill now. Um, not sure what I'm going to get from this. But I did want to vary it up a little bit and see what we could do with it. I think I'm going to change my attack options to be a right click so I don't accidentally mess this up. But let's get started on this. <gasps> there we go. We finally got the kill. What do we get? Axe, please. Come on. Coins. That was very underwhelming. Yeah, that kill took me about 22 minutes to do. I don't think it's practical. I really don't think that it's a very good idea to do this. I need to train my combat stats more before I can do things like this. <laughs> so unfortunately, we're going to have to stop with killing the skeleton. In fact, I think everything in this area is going to be too high level for me to kill. Especially with a little wolfbane dagger. So it may well be... Back to the crawling hands we go. Um, who knows? In the future, maybe uh, when I'm a high level, if we come back to Mauritania, I could do some stuff like this. But yeah, I'm not spending 25 minutes per kill to get a couple of coins. I was really hoping for the axe. Just unfortunate. But I think I'm going to go back up to the Slayer Tower and we are going to grind on crawling hands because there's not really much else I could do. I could train prayer at the Ectofunctus, but honestly, with regular bones, it's probably slower than just training prayer by burying crawling hands bones. So I think crawling hands are just the best way to go. Plus, they give me loads of coins, which I can use for food. <sighs> it does mean I have to walk to slap every time, though. Anyway, back to the crawling hands. Ooh, 30 prayer. That gives us a combat level. 42. I mean, it looks nice, but I don't get anything out of it. I have one prayer point now, though. Cool. Okay, we're at 27 attack, um, but I'm going to need to go get more food. I didn't want to let my health get stupid low because I keep having to remember that I do have to make it down to slep without dying, um, which with this much health might actually not happen. But we do have a nice, decent amount of things to sell. We are stacking up quite a bit of money, but 
honestly, the money is going to be fairly useless. Unfortunately, I uh, don't really have much to buy here other than food, but I'm just stacking up the coins for the fun of it at this point. So I'm going to go get myself some more, some more food. Uh, we're going to go back to the Crawling Hands. I did originally want to go for 30 strength first, but I accidentally got 21 attack and then OCD took over and now I have to get another one of those stupid ghosts. I have to get 30 attack before I go for 30 strength because of OCD. Fun. Okay, so with the next hit, assuming I don't hit a zero, we should get ourselves 30 attack, which allows the equipment of Adamant. So we're going to switch back to strength now, and we are just going to plow our way through strength levels, um, probably for the rest of the episode. I'm just going to be using strength. I should train defense at some point, but it's so much more efficient to train your attack and strength levels and then train your defense, as obviously you deal more damage and you get more XP per hour. Um, but there's not really anything else I can do in Mauritania, so this is probably the game plan for the next 2 hours and 46 minutes. It's a little bit boring. Um, trust me, it's more boring for me than it is for you, but I don't really know what else to suggest. Uh, we tried to do all the tasks, we failed with that. We can't do half the quests here, well in fact we can't do any of the quests here because we don't have a ghost speak amulet. And the ones that we can do without a ghost speak amulet we can't access because we haven't done the prerequisites which require a ghost speak amulet. So. Bottom line is, we need a Ghost Peak Amulet to progress in Mauritania, um, which would then require me to get a boss kill to carry it over. You get the gist. Um, so we are hoping in the next region that we can go somewhere where I can get a boss kill because it's kind of dragging on now. And we are getting dangerously close to the point of unlocking the wilderness, which I'm kind of scared about, but then I'm also kind of uh, happy about because if I get the wilderness, it should be fairly easy to get 40 free prayer, which is, again, I think I mentioned this in a previous episode, but it's one of the reasons why I didn't allow it straight away because, well, otherwise I would just blitz my way through prayer levels and it'd be super easy, and yeah, the wilderness is kind of overpowered. Um, but yeah, we are getting pretty close to that, and I still haven't got a boss kill. I initially planned to have a boss kill before then, or at least or at least one, uh, maybe two, so that I could have an extra region unlocked as well, and I wouldn't be forced to spend my entire time in the wilderness. Um, but we're really hoping that even when the wilderness is unlocked, I don't get it straight away because that would be kind of rough. But anyway, yeah, we're going to be training strength for the rest of this. I'll probably update you with every few levels or something. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be poking these hands with a Wolfbane Dagger for a good few hours now. All right, so we need to restock on food. We've got a whole bunch of stuff to sell. Uh, we are now at 27 strength. I was going to update a 30, but I didn't quite make it. Uh, this money is going to be basically useless. I just like seeing it stockpile in the bank as a collection log of all the things we've thrown away. So uh, that's the main reason why I'm just collecting up the money. Um, we've got way more than enough to buy ourselves the food we need. But this is going to be another trip of getting trout and heading back down to Slep, cooking it, and then making our way back to train some more strength. We should definitely be able to hit 30 strength before the end of this episode, which is going to be really nice. And then I'm probably just going to push for as many strength levels as I can possibly get. And uh, that will help me in future regions. Okay, that's going to be 30 strength. I kind of wasn't really paying all that much attention. But now that we have evened out attack and strength stats, I think what I'm going to move on to is a little change of scenery. We've uh, been killing Crawling Hands for ages now, and I've come to the realization that I could just kill the citizens in Cannabis with the Wolfbane, and they're not going to turn into a werewolf. And uh, they also can drop a Steel Axe, uh, which makes me feel a bit stupid because it means I could have had an axe ages ago which therefore means that I could, you know, chop these trees down around here or over here, and then I could light a fire without having to walk all the way to Slep to cook, um, which is, hindsight, you know, kind of stupid. But it does mean that I could have a little bit of chain of pace, and we'll try and kill some of these. I don't know if they all have the same drop table. I checked one in particular. I'm probably just going to kill them a few times and see what happens. Hopefully we can get some sort of axe, and that'll make this a lot easier to do. First kill on Boris! What do we get from this? Uh, an easy task in the Mauritania area. Nice. And no drop. Okay. Well, according to the wiki, they all have the same drop table. So I'm just going to go ahead and, I guess, kill Georgie. Because why not? Give me that axe. Yes! We got the steel axe! I actually resorted to flinching these just because I didn't want to get more food, but we finally got ourselves the steel axe. That actually uh, only took us... Oh, I've got to add these up. Like, seven... Yeah, seven kills. Um, because I've been killing different people, so it's got different death logs. 
But yeah, we got ourselves the axe, which is nice because it means I can just buy food from here and then use an actual log. Um, just make a fire here. But for now, I'm going to go clear out this inventory. We'll prep ourselves some more food. And I'll probably just... I think I might go back to crawling hands, honestly. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll kill these a bit more. Who knows? You you'll see in the next couple of clips, probably. Are you kidding me? That's <laughs> back-to-back -back steel axes. I don't need another one. Oh. Where is this luck when I want it? I mean, I guess it's not really lucky if I don't want it. Either way, that's back-to-back -back steel axes. This is just genuinely the next kill. I just cooked up the entire inventory and we got another one. Yeah, I'm just going to be killing these guys for the uh, last 50 minutes or so. Uh, XP is XP, and I've been killing Crawling Hands for ages, so I just fancy to change of pace. We can see what drops we can get from these. I don't think they drop anything that interesting, but who knows? Cool. 600 total level with 32 strength. Can't complain. Oh my god. They're apparently like 1 in 52, but I've killed... Let's see... Uh, okay, 1, 5, 9, 11... I've killed 11 and I've had 3. Oh, wait, no, 12. 13. Okay, scratch that. I've killed 13 and I've had 3. But even still... I don't know if they're as rare as the wiki says. <laughs> Regardless. Let's, uh, let's keep training strength. Don't mind me just getting a sneaky 52 cooking. Preparing some trout. We can now make botanical pies. Useless until I've done Druidic Ritual, but possibly useful in the future. Who knows? Probably the last level of the video. That is 35 strength. Uh, we also got 44 hit points a moment ago. I didn't even notice that. Uh, we're going to ignore this steel axe in the ground because that's axe number four. Um, but yeah, we've only got... 13 minutes left. I don't think that's enough time to get another level. So we're probably ending at 30 attack, 35 strength. It's pretty good though, considering I started with, I don't know what, a 10 strength or something stupid. I had really low melee stats, so it's really nice to have these up now. And now that we can wield adamant, uh, it could be really useful in future regions. So I'm going to finish up the last 12 minutes, and I'll probably see you guys at the end when we spin the next region. All right, I may have lied. 36 strength with one minute and 11 seconds left to go. Uh, yeah, we definitely don't get any more levels, I promise you this time. Um, we're going to spend another minute getting as much XP as we can, and then we'll move on to rolling the next region. Okay, we've got four, three, two, one, and that's time. I'm just going to run away so I can get out of combat, and we can finish up uh, this week's regional rumble. I think she's still following me, so I'm just going to run this way, get myself out of combat fully. And uh, we are done for the week spent in Mauritania. Okay, another week is completed. It is time to make myself miserable. And to spin the region wheel. Please give me something nice. Just do not give me Kebos. I've realized how bad that region is. Spin the wheel. Alright. Yeah, I can deal with that. That's, uh, reasonable. Let's go.